What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. If you're new to the channel, welcome. I'm Rachel Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth and I help people achieve their financial goals in today's economy. Welcome back to episode two of the Wealth Journey series. If you have not checked out this book right here, the glare is probably crazy right now, but it's the Wealth Journey by me. If you haven't checked it out yet, definitely make sure you check it out. We'll talk more about that in a second. So I wanted to just give a quick update on how I invested my money this month. So in my last video, which was just episode one of the Wealth Journey series, I gave you a full rundown of everything, how I spent my money in February, how I saved my money, how I invested, all that good stuff. And you gotta look into my money tracker, my net worth tracker, my savings tracker, all that stuff. I keep track of everything very meticulously. So in my last video, I was talking about how I just got a 5% raise at work. We all got this big, company-wide raise and, and everybody's just very happy about it which is very awesome i'm very thankful for that happening and in that video i said how i was going to use it towards saving and investing i really don't want to get into the habit of seeing that extra money is spending money i want to see it as pretty much it's not optional for extra things it's really just meant to help me build my empire and i want to continue to build my savings and build my investments so we're going to jump right into savings so you may see me look down every few seconds. I'm just looking at my phone because I kind of made some of these transfers a little sporadically. So towards the middle of this month, uh, March 22nd to be exact, that is when I got my YouTube paycheck. It was a little over $180, but I wanted to put some of it into my saving. I kept some of it in my checking and I paid tithes on that. So the total I put into my savings was $163.80 and then at the end of this month is when I made an extra transfer to my savings account. I told you I got that 5% raise. I dedicated some of that 5% over to my savings account and I ended up transferring $152.81. And I kept some of the 5% in my checking account just to keep a buffer going. I also mentioned in my previous video that I really like to have a decent buffer going into the beginning of the next month simply because the beginning of every month is when most of my heavy bills come out like rent and all that other good stuff basically bills that are in the three digits or higher and i never like to feel like my checking account is getting slim because i am at the point now where i'm refusing to pull any money from my savings account so the savings account i'm referring to right now this is just my general savings account in my bank account and right now my goal is just to have two thousand dollars in it in my previous video just just watch it after this if you haven't seen it but in the previous video i was explaining why i want to keep two thousand dollars in my regular savings and i talk about my regular savings goal and then my emergency fund goal which i'm putting majority of the money i save into my emergency fund just because it's in a high yield savings account and we'll talk about that here in a second but the total amount of money I was able to put into my regular savings account was $316.61. I am now $50 away from my savings goal, which is pretty cool. Something I've been doing with my savings lately is whenever I hit a goal, I'll make a new one. So once I hit 2000, I might be satisfied with that, or I might say, you know what, 2,500, you know? So who knows what I'm gonna do with that. But anyway, every single month outside of just my regular savings i also build my roth ra and my emergency fund so since we're on the topic of saving we're going to talk about my, my emergency fund so every month once i get my paycheck that falls in the middle of the month i have 500 dollars automatically come out of my checking account and go into my regular savings account and then once the 15th hits because i get paid like a couple days early just because that's how my bank account works once the 15th hits though, Marcus by Goldman Sachs takes that $500 from my savings account and puts it in there. So $316.61 went toward my regular savings account and then an extra $500 went into my regular savings account and then that went over to Marcus by Goldman Sachs. So I told y'all in my last video that my goal for Marcus by Goldman Sachs was $10,000 because I don't really see there being a drastic emergency that's going to cost me over ten thousand dollars at least for now i don't have any kids or anything so i'm just kind of building this up little by little right now uh with the five hundred dollars that i just mentioned it is at six thousand seven hundred twenty two dollars and two cents and i'm getting the 4.5 percent annual percentage yield so it's going to grow whether i touch it or not and i'll have a screenshot on the screen for you just so you can see it 
So once I hit that 2000, which I could honestly hit it in a couple of days if I want to, but I want to just, you know, take things slow when it comes to saving. I don't want to take too much out of my checking account and end up needing it later for some reason. So I'm just going to chill with that for now. But once I hit my $2,000 goal on my regular savings account, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put the money I would normally put in there and put it into my emergency fund. That's going to help me get to that $10,000 goal a lot quicker. Plus when bonuses and, you know, extra payments come up and things like that from my book, from YouTube, from whatever, they're going to go right into my emergency fund. And that's going to help build it up faster too. Last but not least, I'm not gonna be here all day, um, plus my camera is about to die and it's like midnight, so I'm going to bed after this. But in my M1 Finance account, this is where I have my Roth IRA, I will have a screenshot for this too. I put $500 in here. And I did this on the 15th as well. So currently there is $6,390.74 in my Roth IRA. It is up 47.15%, which is, Basically, it's up $951.87. It's performed very well. And if you've ever been curious about what I'm invested in in my Roth IRA, I'm invested in Microsoft, and I have 30% of my money going into there, 30% going into Apple, 20% going into VTI, and another 20% going into VOO. This was not anything that I thought of myself. I just follow a lot of really smart investors. And there's one by the name of Ian Dunlap that has a specific strategy that I just literally follow, copied and pasted into my Roth IRA. I do have my own strategies for other things, but when someone is better than me at something, I want to definitely follow their advice and just see what it's like to apply it in a certain portion of my net worth. And we'll go over my net worth in my next wealth journey video. So my goal every month is to save and invest at least $1,000 total when you're adding both of them up. Uh, this month I was able to save and invest $1,316.61. That is my update for today. My, my, I would go a little longer, but my camera is literally about to die right now. So uh, I just wanted to give you that update. But this book, if anyone is ever curious about how I got started or, you know, what struggles I might have went through, it hasn't always been where I've been able to save and invest this much every single month. And if you also want just general finance tips and a, a different perspective when it comes to personal finances and unconventional advice, things that aren't commonly talked about in other books, my book, The Wealth Journey, is something that I highly recommend you check out. I might be a little biased because I obviously wrote the book, but I mean, I mean that in the most sincere way possible. I put together every single thing that I wondered about, I struggled with, I had questions about when it came to personal finances and I answered them inside of this book. It's not like a autobiography or anything like that. There is some of my stuff in there about my life, just so you can kind of have that relatability, but a lot of it is just straight up application. This is how you do it. This is how you save, this is how you invest, this is how you budget, and it will add great value to your life. But anyway, not gonna keep rambling on because I do not want this to cut off. So, thank you for watching this video. I will see you in the next one.